And that's how I almost became a vampire, thanks to Bombus. You made a deal with Clavicus Vile. Mm-hmm. I haven't started to regret it yet, but there's still time for everything to go horribly wrong, so... Yeah. Alright then. Hey, Cayman. Oh. Sorry. Casting spells again. Let me know when you're ready. Excellent. Yep. I'll just, uh... Do you think there's any more vigilance in here? No, I don't. I suspect if there were any, they're dead now. And if I did think that there were vigilance in here, I wouldn't have waited. That is a very fair point. Oh. Oh boy, here we go! That was inelegant, to say the least. That looked painful. Eh. I'm the one in heavy armor. I should be in the front taking all the hits, right? Well, yes, but... Ooh. All right, pardon me while I... Uh... Equally nerd out and freak out a little bit. Why? Well, I haven't seen architecture like this in Skyrim yet. And those things look like they could just... Jump out and attack a person? Yeah, you should be careful around the gargoyles. I take it you've dealt with this kind of thing before? Maybe a little. I'll never tell you anything, vampire. My oath to Stendar is stronger than any suffering you can inflict on me. So I, I was wrong. Judgment. And I don't think you even know what you found here. So go and meet your beloved Stendar. Are you sure that was wise, Lokiel? He still might have told us something. I've never we seen him anywhere thing. ourselves with nothing. He served his purpose by leading us to this place. Hard and wait. Now, it is up to us to bring Harkon the prize. And we will not return without it. Vingalmo and Morpheon will make way for me after this. Yes, of course, Loki. Do not forget who brought you news of the Vigilance discovery. I never forget who my friends are. Or my enemies. I'm waiting. And they've just killed a man because we were waiting. He was dead anyway. He was dead the moment he set foot in here. Alright. You look angry. I'm angry, I'm tired, I am ogling the architecture, and we should probably move before something else happens. Yes, we should. So, you're not the only one who was looking for this artifact? Nope. Apparently Lokil was as well. You sound as if you know him. Do I? My apologies. Hmm. 
Cayman, I'm starting to get very suspicious about you. I'm letting you know that now. Just so, you know, you know. You are probably right to be suspicious of me. That wasn't as quiet as I thought it would be, but it seems to have worked. Yep, now let's see how far away I can cast these things. Let's just make them a little bit of a surprise, shall we? Hey! Ugly! Really? That's the best you can come up with? I don't know. Kill really wasn't as strong as I thought he was. Nope. On the other hand, I am rather a powerful mage at this point. So, um. Ooh. Regarding Dim Hollow Crypt's possible connections to the ancient vampire clans of Skyrim's history, do you mind if we actually get going? Ah, give me a moment. Alright, I'm taking this. And, uh... Blasphemous Revenance. <laughs> Are you done? I'm still ogling the architecture. If that's what you mean. What, checking to make sure he's actually dead? Well... Checking to make sure no one turned him before they killed him. Are you with the Dawn Guard? No, I'm definitely not with the Dawn Guard. Right. Oh, hold on. Oops, pardon me. Uh, okay. Nothing worth looking at there. What can I do for you, friend? Alright. Here's what I want to know, right? What kind of architecture... Thank you. What kind of architecture is this exactly? Because I have not... It's... I would say it's almost... Oh. It stinks in here. It's almost consistent with secondary architecture or earlier than that. You know that just by looking at it. I do indeed. Well, I don't know, there would have to be- I'd have to study it more and that I'd testing and whatnot, but... Oh look, there's a door up there. Or something. Can we please get on with it? I'm sorry. Uh... Right. I think this probably... I'm- I'm- I'm hesitant to hit this button because I don't know what it's going to do. But, um... I'm sure it has something to do with the rest of this. Do you want to stand back? No. In case something happens, I'd like to be right here, thank you. Right. I- I just noticed something, by the way. What? You're not with the Dawn Guard, right? Correct. But you carry a Dawn Guard axe. What exactly are you? Who exactly are you? I I saw that. Yeah, I needed a drink, alright. I'm not nearly inebriated enough to tell you that. Okay, fine. Have a jolly. Okay, yep. Ah. I shouldn't have used my dominant hand for that. That looked like it hurt. 
Yes, of course it hurt! Just stab my palm real quick. Ouch! Okay, okay. Eh, we're not gonna do that. We're going to do this. Ow! Okay! Now, what's this mess? Um, you're the mage here, you tell me. I've never seen anything like this. Right, Axe for Hire, you're, what is it, my friend? you're a mercenary. Yeah, among other things. Ooh! Oh, that doesn't feel good. What? It's, um... I do believe they've got void salts in these things. And I think this is a giant sigil. You think this is a giant what now? A sigil. Have you ever heard of one? Yes, but simplify it for a simple Bosma, would you? Okay, so a sigil is a big magical... It's a symbol. Ah, that's great, thanks. And, uh, this particular sigil seems to be powered by, um... Soul essence, I think. The same kind of stuff that goes into soul gems. When you kill somebody, I mean. That's... pretty dark. I- I need to move this, could you- could- could, could you move, please? Came in, this is no time. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm in a pit with a mercenary who will not tell me anything. I'm surrounded by vampires. Well, t I was surrounded by vampires. There could yet be more. I don't know. Ah, and I keep getting so sucked. Can I help you? No. <laughs> What exactly kind of offer was that? I'm joking. Yes, this is absolutely a giant sigil. Great. Great, great, great. And I suspect once we complete it that... something will happen. I can't be sure what exactly. But something. Ah, uh, okay. Ooh. All right. Yeah. Okay. Sure. That's um. That's new. I take it you've never seen anything like this before. That is a safe assumption. Yes. That is in fact correct. Oh, I'm glad I'm wearing a mask because it's moldy in here. I'm- I'm also glad you're wearing a mask, because I would not want you breathing this crap in. Alright, can we open the thing now? Yes, we can open the thing. It opens! Well, yes. The floor opened. I would assume this would as well. Alright, fine. Um... You said an artifact. Where is... Who sent you here? Oh! Uh, who were you expecting, exactly? I was expecting someone... like me, at least. Uh-huh. You mean like, uh... Like... Like, like, you you mean like a uh, vampire, right? Vampire, yes. Uh, what? Came and you said it was an artifact, not a lady? Well, to be fair, she is carrying an artifact. <sighs> right, why were you locked away like this? That's complicated. And I'm not totally sure if I can trust you. 
But if you want to know the whole story, help me get back to my family's home. Ah, uh, Cayman? You have some explaining to do? I will explain when we get where we're going. Okay, and where is it that we're going? My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. Okay. So you live on an island west of Solitude, out in the middle of the Sea of Ghosts? Yes, Arden, that's what she said. I feel like the ladies speak. It's on an island near Solitude. Yes. Hopefully we can find a boat to take us there. It's my family home. Not the most welcoming place, but depending on who's around, I'll be safe there. Uh... Somebody you don't want to see? My father and I don't really get along. Uh -huh. Saying it out loud makes it sound so... common. Little girl who doesn't get along with her father. Read that story a hundred times. I... S I will admit that is not exactly the kind of... Uh... Response... I expected from an... Uh... From a vampire. I was going to say ancient. I don't want to insult your age. How long were you in there exactly? Good question. Hard to say. I... I can't really tell. I feel like it was a long time. Who is Skyrim's High King? That's actually a matter for debate. Oh, wonderful. A war of succession. Good to know the world didn't get boring while I was gone. Who are the contenders? Well, before Cayman speaks over me again, the Empire supports Elisif, but there are many in Skyrim loyal to Ulfric. I myself am siding with the Empire on this one, and uh, this one over here is still a mystery. Empire? What? What Empire? The Empire. From Cyrodiil. Are you telling me you don't know that there's an Empire in Cyrodiil? Cyrodiil is the seat of an empire? I must have been gone longer than I thought. Definitely longer than we planned. Stand Please, up! let's hurry. I need to get home so I can figure out what's happened. You... Um... Okay. Uh, pardon me for, uh, making an assumption here, but I suspect you've been in here since the Second Era. Which is a long time. Uh, it's currently the fourth era. Ah! Uh, why were you locked in there? I'd rather not get into that with you. If that's alright. I'm sorry, it's not that... It's just that I don't know who I can trust yet. Let's get to my home, and I'll have a better sense of where we all stand. You're a very smart woman, Serana. I should be calling you Lady Serana. My apologies. Yeah, okay. okay. One more question before we uh, attempt to find our way out of this place. A question, observation, whatever. That's an Elder Scroll. Yes, it is. And it's mine. Can I ask why you have an Elder Scroll? It's complicated. I can't really talk about it. I'm sorry. I'm- I'm getting- I'm getting that a lot from both of you, actually, and I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. Okay, do either of you have any idea how to get out of here? Your guess is as good as mine. This place looks pretty different from when I was locked away. Oh, good. I don't have any ideas on my end, either. You're the archaeologist here. Aren't you supposed to be digging us out of this? Stindar's great shiny balls. I have no idea what to make of any of this. Okay. Um. Gonna make an educated guess and say it's up that way. Well, then we should probably hurry. Uh, yeah. Before we do, you have some explaining to do. Uh, yes? Pardon me? Uh, could you just hold on for yes? just a moment? 
If you think I'm gonna let you have all the fun, you're crazy. I'll let you lead ahead, but I'll be keeping an eye on you. I just need to speak with my associate here out of... Out of your shot, if you don't mind. Kaylin! Lady Serana, I apologize. Alright. Two things. Probably more than two things. Why do you keep calling her Lady Serana? I know something about her that you don't. Yeah, could you fill me in? Cayman? Yes, fine, I'll fill you in a little bit. She's the heiress of the Volcahar clan. You know, the most powerful vampires in Skyrim? Yeah. She's rather important. Mm-hmm. And you keep calling her Lady Serana? Yes, I do. I'm a respectful person when it suits me. Okay. And, uh... We came in here to look for an ancient vampire artifact. She's carrying an Elder Scroll. Were you looking for an Elder Scroll for some reason? No. I was looking for Serana. Alright? I would not like to explain to you why I was looking for Serana right now. And I'm sure you're smart enough to figure out some of what's going on here. Uh-huh. You know Lokil. You knew, my bad, Lokil. Right? Yes. You know things about Serana that I didn't. You knew she existed. You knew that she was down here and that it wasn't an artifact. Correct. I'm going to make a wild assumption here. You work for the Volgahar clan, don't you? In a manner of speaking, yes, I do. Let's just say I was on the losing side of a bet. And leave it at that. Alright? So... I'm assuming this Lord Harkin that I heard mentioned is your employer? You are, in fact, much smarter than I gave you credit for. And being the Archmage, I gave you a lot of credit. I'm not sure whether to thank you or be angry with you. Either one. Both, if you feel inclined. Follow-up question? Yes, I am a vampire. Can you read my mind? No, I can hear your heartbeat. Okay, on that note, um, Lady Serana, I apologize. Oh, what is it? Let's get going. Let's go. Great. So I am. What is it, my friend? So I am surrounded by vampires. Show yourself. And dark oils, apparently. Cool. Uh, I'm out. Good. So, uh, could you, like. What was that? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> there you go. Yeah, of course you're a conjurer. Why wouldn't you be a conjurer? Of course. I am, in fact, surrounded by vampires. So that spell that you were casting... 
What? It wasn't cloaking you to people's eyes, was it? It's cloaking your face. Yes, indeed. So you're an illusionist as well? Well, no, I'm not actually much of a mage. Now, can we please get going before Harkin has my head? <sighs> yes. Yes, we can. Sorry. Great. Great, great, great. Just my luck. It bloody figures that somebody like me, who grew up in Coral, praying at the Chapel of Stendar, ends up falling in with a pair of like bloody life. vampires. Starting to worry. And I have very little against vampires except when they lie to me. I will say though, that that's pretty useful. That is in fact quite useful. If a bit terrifying. Actually, Serana, I would quite like to study this thing. But not right now. Okay. I kind of expected that there was going to be a trap there. I kind of expect that to be a trap in here, too. It smells like it. And now they're both silent, of course. Oh, right. What was that? Draga. What does it look like? Ouch. Show yourself. Well, I can't exactly turn it off. It it didn't seem to affect you any. Why's that? She's more powerful than I am. Right. We will leave it at that and call it good. Heh, <laughs> wouldn't it be odd luck that we walk out in the middle of the day? And now I understand. Right, so he's a vampire, just so Is someone there? Over here! Oh, so Never mind. I was going to explain some things. I've decided against it. We're just gonna move. Okay, this is definitely Nordic. Do you remember being buried in this crypt, or is this all new to you? Eh, uh, don't answer. Ah, I missed. Oh, nope, I did get him. Okay. Who's there? Uh an entire crap ton of drug. Careful, Cayman. Wouldn't want you turning into a pile of ash. Wait. Ouch. Careful, Serana. Where? 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 Oh, jeez. Sorry. How about you? Well done. I will not bow before the dead. Thanks. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you. Alright, does one of you want to get that one? Do one of you want to get that one? Over here. Got him. Done and done. Whoa! She's invisible. Hey, Cayman, can you turn invisible too? Yes. Alright, sorry I asked. Here lies the body of Svolo. 
who possessed the strength to kill a dragon, but not the stamina to kill many. You can read that? Yes, I can. All right, your enchantment. Mm-hmm. Ah, sorry. She was invisible. Forgot. Uh, just so you know, it is rather awkward being the only mortal in the room. Now I wonder how old you are. Anyway. <sighs> Sorry. Ooh, alright. Uh, hmm. I don't think I have that one yet. Oh, yeah, I'm also an enchanter, in case that wasn't obvious. Ugh. I think we're almost out. And now he's not speaking to me. Great. Good to breathe again. Huh. Even in this weather, it's better than the cave. Are you kidding me right now? What? Well, first of all, it's daytime, so that's a problem. Second of all, I've seen this cave before. I nearly went into it. I could have had this all taken care of long before we ever spoke. Look, I'm sorry, all right? <sighs> all right, we'll get to Dawnstar or somewhere and hunker down. And we'll go to Dawnstar and take a boat. How about that? That sounds fine. It's so bright out here. I don't know how you stand. Well, for one, I'm not. Came in. Look. I'm... Let's talk out of the shade, yeah? In the... in the... Okay, if you want to stand around and burn up, that's on you! Arden... That's not what this is about. I'm just... thinking. Yes, I'm sure you are. What are you thinking? I'm thinking I should take her back, and you should go back to Winterhold. Okay, look, I've come this far, we found the- I thought I heard a dragon. We've come this far, I found the girl, the lady, whomever. I'm gonna take her there. It's all gonna be fine, assuming he lets me leave. That's what I'm worried about, alright? I'm not worried about you knowing what I am. I'm worried about... him. And I'm actually not sure if he'll let me in. You may have to go anyway. Jeez. Sorry, that- it wasn't- um... Your status with the clan is a mystery to me right now. Well, it's not good. We'll go with that. Okay. We'll go together then. Alright, we'll go together. What have I gotten myself into? Yikes. I would like to breathe, please. Whew. Skyrim is just full of strange things, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, 
good, I forgot that there's a thing there. Great, this is gonna be fun. Okay. So here's my plan, and you really don't have to keep casting that. Hi. Yes, I do. We're in the middle of a town. Good boy. Okay, so here's my thought, right? Let's get indoors. Or in a cave. Anywhere. Just out of this. We're making good time, alright? Here's what I'm thinking. There's a path that leads all the way up through here. We're trying to get there. And there's a path that leads kind of down around the mountain up that way. What I'm thinking is we cut through around here, if you're alright with that. Can I help you? Sounds good to me. Okay, away we go. Hey, it's foggy enough. Oh, what a slog. Ew, yuck. Lovely. That's freezing. And I suspect neither of them feel it. They're vampires, they're dead. What do they care? Not dead dead, but... Oh, wolves. Go hunt the thing then! Don't complain about it. And a bear. Oh boy. This is where we're supposed to be going. Cool. Um, I take back what I said about it being foggy. But I think the sun is dropping enough at this point. We should be alright. We're in the shade at least. Ah, yes, I hear you. Oh, great. seem to be emotionally compromised and unable to cast runes. That's lovely. Hey, Arden. Mm-hmm. Do you always talk to yourself this much? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. I apologize if it's... Um, I don't know what. But yes, I do, in fact, talk to myself this much. <sighs> Great, I'm parched. We should have stopped in Dragon Bread for a drink. I did not. I am an idiot. Stupid, stupid Arnold. Range on my soul cloak is right out at the lodge. Yikes. I'll let you handle that bear. Alright, uh, now I've got to figure out where we're going. That way. Oh yes, up by Volskig. Did you know there was a dragon priest here? Was? No longer. A dragon priest. Haha, <laughs> he speaks! Yes, I speak. Arden, I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. Why... Why are you apologizing now? Well, because we're getting closer to where we're going, and... I figure you should know. Yep. 
Uh, apology... Accepted, I suppose. We actually need to go the other way. Cool! It's been a long week. I'm not really in the mood for liars. I understand. I don't really think he does. Doesn't know. Although I dumped enough on him, I suppose. Anyway. That's lovely. That's new. That's new? Looks like it's been there a while. Hasn't. The skeleton is old, but someone put that up as a warning. Who has a base all the way out here? Well, besides. Hang on, wait a minute. Are we going to the castle? Yes. Is is that Are we going to a castle? Yes, Arden, we're going to a castle. Okay, I have suddenly become excited about this. Are you really excited, or are you just trying to fake it? Cayman, you're insufferable. Strangely enough, you're not the first person to tell me that. I think you and she would get along quite well now that I think about it. Why is that? Well, you both think I'm insufferable for one thing. Oh! Okay, where? Alright, we're going down this way. Careful of your ankles. It could be a bit, um, wonky. Okay, hold up a second. Is that what I think it is? Okay, it's stupendously hard to see in this. Great. Oh, please tell me that's not what I think it is. Luckily, the two vampires can turn invisible, so... Cool, I'm on my own here. Okay. Bandits? Must be. Alright, bandits I can handle. Contra. Hi. I knew I heard something. Arden. That was pathetic. Not very impressive. Yes. We need to be careful around here. Uh huh. Why besides why besides bandits do we need to be careful around here? Because North Watch Keep is a Thalmor outpost, and it's right over there. Oh, I see. Shit. Okay. Thanks for the warning. Yeah, so if we could keep the fireworks to a minimum. Mm-hmm. Sadly, I cannot turn invisible, otherwise this would be much easier. Also, I'm going to have to swim that, aren't I? Yes, yes you are. Unless you want to get close enough to alert the outpost guards, I would in fact swim that. Uh... 
Oh, I hate this so much. And I'm not going to strip out of my armor in front of this. Yep, that doesn't really look like a shallow way across. Cool. Okay. Don't worry, it's not that bad. It's not that far. You can do it. I... maybe. But if you haven't noticed, I am rather mortal and I do feel the cold still. So do I. Just less. Okay, it doesn't go away when you become a vampire. Okay. Run it off, run it off, run it off, run it off, run it off. Okay, that's cold, that's cold, that's very cold. Okay. Okay, where are we going? That was... Isn't there supposed to be a boat somewhere around here? Have I just gotten... completely lost? Sorry. Uh, I'm, uh, hyperventilating, which isn't good for anybody. Yeah, it's kind of cold, isn't it? Sorry. Relax, Arden. Just breathe. Breathe and focus, alright? Yep, I'm breathing. I'm breathing. Okay. You're not breathing. Your heart is racing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are we anywhere near close? No, the dock is still a little ways down the shore. Are you alright? Are you going to pass out? I think I'm alright. Ah, uh, I need to get pass out. But at least we're on the right side of the shore now. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see it. Okay. Okay. Um, this is the part where we usually get in the boat. Are you with me? I am. I am. Give me a moment, please. Hey, Cayman. Are you alright with rowing? Yes, I am. I've rowed myself out there plenty of times. Okay. Here we go. Well, isn't that a foreboding sight? Okay. Who's coming? Who's staying? I suppose we'll find out, eh? And what are those things? Those are bone hawks. They're like vultures, but worse. Oh, cool. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. Yep, this is, in fact, beautiful Skyrim weather. Okay. What can I do for you, friend? All right. We all going? You seemed a bit worried. Are you going to stay here, or...? 
I think it might actually be better if I stay here. We'll see. I'm not sure who the gatekeeper is today. It'll depend largely on him. The fact that Lokil isn't the one bringing her back. I suspect they're not going to be happy to see me. Oh, good. Should I be worried for your health? That's a very good question. Cool. Oh, boy. Hey, so, before we go in there... Yeah. Are you alright? I think so. And thanks for asking. I wanted to thank you for getting me this far. But after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Oh! Oh, you think I'm with the Vigil of Stendar, don't you? I definitely don't. There's the gate. Will not want to keep Harkin waiting, trust me. Understood. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Hi. Uh, are you alright with him? I will take your lack of response as a yes. Right, you're supposed to be taking the lead. I will shut up now. Oh boy. How dare you trespass here? Oh, wait. Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. Yep, that's, uh... My lord, everyone! Serana has returned! Oh boy. I guess I'm expected. I well, can't believe it. they did send a search party after you. I guess came is staying outside. My long lost daughter returns at last. Oh dear. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Okay. Of course. She has the scroll. to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Gods. Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, oh. who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my savior, the one who freed me. Oh. It's only for Sarana's sake that I have let you live. Okay, uh, I'll be... Oh, I'm so screwed. This is a trap. You are testing my patience. This is a trap, isn't it? For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? My name is Ardinius Welk. What's yours? I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. Yep. Yeah, you're vampires. And I suspect you all can hear how terrified I am right now. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. I see. So, um... So what happens now? You have done me a great service. And now you must be rewarded. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again. Okay. 
And if I refuse your gift, I assume the, uh... The gate guard won't be as kind as you. Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Yeah. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! What the? Okay, okay. <laughs> Hello. Aren't you a cute one? Semantics. I'm very familiar with semantics. He will spare my life this once, but don't think. I don't think that offer extends to the rest of this court. And I don't know if I can trust Cayman to get me out of here. Oh. Stendar, have mercy on me. I have no choice. I don't have a choice, do I? This is the power that I offer. Now, make your choice. Well... Either way, I'm dead, aren't I? Lord Arkin, I accept your gift. Be still. 